Oh, Manny, I didn't even know you joined. Nobody ever knows when I joined. No, nah, I, I wasn't here. I just got back. I had to let the dog out and uh, make sure the dog was in her kennel. Excuse me. So I ended up getting aliens. There you go. And uh, Nick got on, never played anything, and then he logged off. And oh, he said he was going out or some shit tonight, so. No, he went out, and he came back, and he sat here and just talked. Oh, that's right. He doesn't really go out like I go out. You outside right now? No. I hear crickets. Oh, I got my window open. Oh, okay. Let's say it sounded like you were just sitting out back or some shit. Sometimes I am. I, I mean, that's what I figured. It's kind of one of the reasons why I shifted back to just using a laptop because it gives me more use like that. About to fucking uh, put some fucking eye drops in my shit because my fucking eyes are bothering me. I just I just washed them out a little bit. Uh, Nick just logged on earlier to see if anybody would play some Daisy. No, he didn't. Uh, Logan asked him. He didn't even want to. Oh, he do doesn't want to play with Logan. No, oh, probably. Well, either way, he didn't. He didn't fucking want to play anything. He just sat there and was just dicking around on the computer. He said, "Oh, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling." He didn't even say that. He actually just said, no, I just logged in for a little bit to check on something. Anna, Anna. Hey. Thank you very much for the follow there. Haas. 00312 underscore. So, there is some, uh, it looks like there's like some slight RPG elements to, um, to aliens. There's like a full on character creator that you can do. It's Is my character able to be trans? I don't know. It d instead of saying gender or sex, it says archetype though. So I think it's it's staying pretty it's it's hugging real close to the um the canon of the story. Uh, of like the alien franchise, which I'm we got woke by a distress call. Glad because in the franchise, it really didn't matter situation if you had a swinging dick or not. Rim, mm -hmm. There's always a chance of xenomorphs. So, in apparently in this story, they're well aware of the xenomorphs. So this is after Alien One. I'm guessing around Alien Three timeline. I don't know. Um. It was voiced, so that this quest is voiced, but it looks like the uh it looks like the um like there's no their like their mouths didn't move. So I don't know if that's uh that's gonna stay like that. Maybe they'll move later, I don't know. Or the station, no point being, I give two shits extraction. about that little stuff. That's if the gameplay is good, the gameplay is good. Oh, oh yeah, you no, I'm down. You have enemy movements. Yeah, Logan's more of the graphics Nazi and shit. I, well, I will say this: the graphics look great. Before you deploy, the graphics look great. It's made in Unreal, so yeah. Or you could be like Nick, where he's still up the butt of Warcraft and. Latro having the best graphics earlier, ever when short version. Latro's graphics are sphere, okay, the but they're nowhere near the best graphics. They're they're 
No, like, every game has its own little niche. And, I'll get your ass yeah. out in the smallest possible I'm not get, like pieces. to me and you can have graphics you, you could have a pretty game and time. it can be complete garbage. No, I'll be in the platoon look at Cyberpunk and how that came out. Better oh, it looks pretty but it's all fucked up. Left fresh out of OCS, huh? Usually I'm in a drop ship on You got to have a balance in there. Air generally, so. things have yeah. really gone to shit. I'll be in a foxhole brushing dirt off a laptop with one like, I'll probably go and play Cyberpunk eventually once it's unfucked itself. For anything I can't handle, I call Esther. I haven't even gone out drinking the night. I thought about it, but yeah. Or they just kick your ass into cry. Remember the old Conestoga attack transports from the 70s? Found a random lost kitten earlier and spent some time hanging out with that, seeing if I could find where it needed to go. Our battalion synthetic, an android. She's a medical corpsman, science advisor, electronic warfare tech, and MFLC. That's a military and family life counselor. Fancy way to say she listens if you got issues. While we're in the freezers for long trips, Esther and Endeavor's mother computer keep the ship running. She doesn't normally deploy, but we get her on the radio to solve problems. You and me both. Let's do this. Open mission select. It's a tactical opportunity. Oh, a daily quest. Oh. There, it already sounds like it has more content than Daisy. Uh, infinitely more content than Daisy. Daisy's a sandbox without anything lore-wise. Daisy's a sandbox without fucking the sandbox. On most servers. Because they, they literally... At least the ones that these dumbasses pick. Like, they, they pick the ones that are restricted. Like, you can't build bases, and it's, like, the main thing. That's the main reason as to why DayZ went standalone, was the option to build your own Report base your and shit. Leader. Well, it's because they're worried about China. No. Well, they get hacked, remember? That's on official servers, and that, that actually does happen. The one that they're the the fucking community servers that like they're playing on. The six legged cats. The problem if hacking is happening on official servers and nothing's being done about it, it just tells me about the quality of the game. Yeah. You are new to the battalion, yes? This guy wants to go pet some six legged cats that change colors when they purr. I like him. He's probably gonna die. <laughs> Alright, so shift is run. There's got to be a... Oh, jumping while running, or while sprinting, caused you to roll. See, I was almost considering if I wanted to pick that up for PS5, but I'm not sure if it has the cross-play. Uh, you know, I don't know. But I just realized I have my MMO key set on, and I'm putting on my uh, FPS one. So far, it looks like it's third person. Yeah, it's third person. I know that. I didn't know that. Yep. Shows how much you read, and I only read a few sentences. I didn't want to read anything out of it. It's okay. I know you can't read. Yeah, I know. Middle mouse so, does something. So when are you starring in Simple Jack? Four is a health pack. Uh whenever fucking framing dragon gives me oh overclock activated. I still think it's funny because I to me I compare Daisy to uh Minecraft. Minecraft is well a better setup game. And more developed. They've had about the same amount of time being on the market, so. Yeah. Alright, I should probably fix my controls to do, uh. I think Minecraft mouse, but... had about the same beginning budget. I don't know. I feel like I want to like Daisy, but I think it's just they want too much for a game that they spent too long in development. And, and it's there was still never... in development. Yep. Don't forget that. Uh, 
it's technically not in development according to them, but it's in development. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those endless development games that that are like all over the fucking place. Well, it's funny because the time they decided to go and be like, "Oh, it's full release." All they did was nothing and jump the price. And I'm yeah. like, "Yeah, that's I'm not going for that." That's incredibly sketch. A and I think they just did that to get more money. They did do that to get more money. They did that to get more money and the ability to continue being on Steam. Because Steam was about to remove their ass. Yep. Because, because it was too long without any updates or anything going on. It was too long without any updates. All they were working off of was the files uh, for the fucking the mod. You know, the, the Arma yep. mod. And then they did... Um, um, too long without updates files from the armor mod and like no actual original content or like maintenance to it and then when people had like bugs and shit they basically gave a, a bullshit answer that they were going to eventually get to them and shit which yeah. I don't think they ever got to some of them well and that's what I told Nick I'm like you know I would have considered it for like 10 bucks and that's about what it's worth to me now so I will not buy Daisy because I know it's history okay so there is currency in this game and I'm trying to figure out if it's in game currency or if it's it says rep script I don't know if it's in game currency or if it's uh, market currency oh shit they're taking Lord of the Rings Shadow of War fucking route yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Cause so there's an armory, and uh, I can buy outfits, head accessories, colorways, which apparently. Oh, this is just weapon skins, like weapon colors. Yeah. That it it sounds like cool. cosmetics, so if they want to have that in game, I give two fucking shits. Decals. If somebody wants to look pretty. Yeah, decal so you can like spray, uh like fucking uh spray paint. Emotes. Yeah, if that's RMT, I like fucking uh in game. Oh store. absolutely. If if it's if there's RM if there's RMT for fucking emotes and cosmetics, I'm cool. That's why I don't even give a shit like on Fortnite having that just because it doesn't progress you in the game anymore. It still keeps right. the level playing ground. Now, Call of Duty Everybody and shit on the other hand and Battlefield fucking the Star Wars one. That one had fucking that one legitimate. Had, yes. You and, pay, and bit, you get this. Yeah, and and that's that's what's funny. Logan still defends that shit like at that like it never fucking happened. I'm like, "Bro, it never happened because people called it out before it happened." That's why there was no way to fucking get those get the loot boxes at launch because so many people called that shit out. He's like, yeah, but like, that doesn't count because it never went into the game. And I was like, but it would have had not anybody spoke up. See, if it's loot boxes for things that really okay. are not worth anything. So I think those I think whatever. those requisition scripts are uh, RMT. Because this other store for purchasing weapons uses requisition credits, not scripts. So I'm pretty sure there is, uh, up the it's RMT. But from the looks I of things, the RMT is, uh, is only cosmetic. And I'm 9,000% cool with that. As long as it's not creating an unfair advantage in nope. a multiplayer setting... Or required for well so that's the good thing about this game so far it looks like the only multiplayer is uh is co-op like there's no uh yeah. and that's the thing if they want to offer certain weapons and shit that you can buy and there is no competitive multiplayer you think i don't care sure you like if you don't need press, this stuff and it's I not going to make it that much easier then it's it's whatever if you want to have think, it sure yeah so i think uh i think the only quote unquote competitiveness might be leaderboards and yep. I I don't even think that's a thing because I don't see any option for leaderboards either. But that's just me where if you're buying to get ahead in what is essentially like a single or just multiplayer game in a single player setting. 
I see that, Manny that's your available. Own dumbass. I see Manny available. I just I just invited Manny. Yeah, but that requires me to click things. Yeah, it just it, it just I I I'm exploring the menus and it said teams and then yep. you could invite. So so apparently when you open up the menu there's campaigns and then it gives you a couple missions. Then there's game modes where it's horde, horde mode, horde, hold off escalating waves of xenomorphs while earning rewards. How long can your fire team survive? Yep, I heard that opens up once you finish campaign. Yep. Or is it open? Yep. It, it open, it's locked right now. Like uh, I said, I did a little bit of reading just for something to do quick. I didn't look into it, so I'm not claiming to know anything about it. Just the little bits and pieces of the few sentences I glanced on. Yeah, well, I mean... I mean, if anything, like I said, I, I don't care to know anything about it because I enjoy going through, like I'm doing right now, I enjoy going through and exploring the shit, and, you know, anybody yeah. who doesn't like it, fuck them. See, it's $40, Ooh, and I'm not classes. really, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick it up or not yet because I'm just weird when it comes to buying games, mm -hmm. but at least I'm consistent when I do it. I mean... Normally, I buy deluxe editions and collector's editions for games, but this one I just couldn't justify because it only gives you a red weapon skin, a bandana that uh, basically like a Ripley's character wore, I want to say in like the second or third one. Yeah. And uh, a, I think a fucking dance emote or something like that. So if you want a good collector's edition, you get the Final Fantasy collector's editions. I tried. I tried. I fucking. I was sitting they there hitting refresh. I know. I was sitting there hold fucking. Did you slamming. check and see if they had a? Uh, they might have had more come out. I nope. check. Because you they, get the I've fucking. Been, I've been the checking. The statue, so, the soundtrack. I know. I know. I. I it's know like exactly. what WoW used to do before they just went everything digital and. Mm hmm. So. Because got, there's something about getting things that aren't just digital that is kind of. Uh, it's nice. Agree. Yeah, no, I, I miss the days where... Well, hell, like I said, I have a fucking giant banner sitting next to my desk right now mounted on the wall. It's a fucking giant cloth flag of Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn. It's when the game f left 1.0 to go to fucking ARR. And, yeah. like, it's a giant fucking banner that includes uh, the the giant Aetherite crystal and a paladin on the Have front. you ever watched the, uh, the beginning cutscene? Mm -hmm. For Final Fantasy, yeah. do you know what that it's what it's about? That is uh, Luis Lu Luis or, or whatever his fucking name is is stopping Bahamut from destroying the uh, the the Erorzia. and basically the um, Gaius and uh, the the fucking Ga Gal Galit. I know this ain't the name of him, but because Eorzea, it does get destroyed. I know it gets destroyed, but he sacrifices himself with the spell to basically kind of like phase shift them out of it, so that way they don't die. And he basically channels so, all the power into himself to stop Bahamut. So I don't think you understood the meaning of it then, though. That's the realm being destroyed, the original Final Fantasy fourteen, uh -huh. and then a realm reborn is the power of him from it. being born from the destruction. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, I knew that's, that. I played yeah, one point when that. that happened. Like I was on, I was on the game when the server went like, offline. It's yep, like we're killing the world. This is, we got to do this. That's why, honestly, that's why that cutscene is my favorite cutscene out of all of them that I've seen so far. So only one the ones thing that I've seen say, so far, just because I've experienced it, and that's when, like, after the cutscene played in 1.0, it just took you back to the title. It showed you, it it so literally Harvey, showed a little preview and said coming soon a realm reborn and then it just showed you the title screen it said connection lost so it's like so, that was totally cool what i'm going to say I is one thing that a lot of people don't think about is final fantasy 14 for the longest time has kind of been a side project in a sense mm -hmm. with i'd say not the blockbuster funding that the main final fantasy games were getting Ooh, but with the popularity that it's gotten recently, I think that funding might actually go up by quite a bit. I very much think that see, that funding is going to go up. 
very, you could see very, the very much on their storytelling and everything and well, the cutscenes and stuff. They've been putting more money into it because they're like, you know, people are actually really getting into the story. So and we, it's more they're than learning that how now. to tell the story in the MMO setting. It's kind of a learning process over time. I think it's more than that now because you know they're they're doing the English version of a fucking uh, Endwalker before they're doing uh, before they're doing the the Japanese voiceovers, right? Yep. Like that alone shows their dedication to the Western market. But I think right now, even even more of a sign for that is the exodus of World of Warcraft to Final Fantasy. The yep. massive jump of numbers has just it has forced their hand to increase their own systems they're doing server upgrades that they didn't foresee them having to do for multiple years like everything that yoshida has said they're doing server upgrades that they didn't see themselves doing for a couple yeah. more years if they ever had to they've had to no, remake and they were building parts it for the website. fans and like and that's one thing people need to know when they come into the game like nick and all of them look teach it Treat it like an RPG first, rather than just an MMO. That's why that Nick you're doesn't go like with. it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm surprised John doesn't like skip. it more. That's the that's the big thing. No, I think John just needs people online, and I think work has him by the balls a little bit. Yeah. But like I said, once you get to where the story's actually interesting, it picks up and it's a lot better. Uh, well, so uh, Jansen also had that issue where yeah. he was getting tired of it. And um, like he was pissed off at it. He was like, dude, I'm just going to buy the fucking skip. Like, I can't deal with this shit. And I was like, bro, like you're missing out on like the great fucking story. If you, if you just go ahead and buy that skip. See, that's, that's the thing I'm saying. Like if John wants to enjoy it, if he's not really digging the story, like I could probably come up with a couple pennies and get him a skip. If he knows what fucking class he wants to do. I mean, well, yes, but at the same time, you also got to realize that the fucking, the skip is now back up to full price. Oh, it's going to have a drop. Oh, I'm sure it will, but... Actually, the drop should be... Maybe now. I got to check. Uh, I think it actually might be right now because there is a, a big, big sale going on right now. You have an anniversary. Like, the event that they have going on is actually an anniversary for when... They started doing the A Realm Reborn. That's the yeah, when they took the servers launched, down and redid shit. Yeah, because it launched. I want to say August thirteenth or September thirteenth. I can't remember. Well, which Well, it's one. the event that's bringing the regalia available for purchase. Okay, say yep, this sale one open till this is the yes. event. Yes, the regalia will be available during this event. Is the one that's on right now? Right now, I don't know if it started yet, but it's there is one that started Hold today. On. I, yeah, that's why I got to go and take a look. I haven't had a chance yet. But that might be up. Mm. Yeah, I'm not seeing a sale. I'm seeing $25 still for the boost. Story progression. Yeah, it's still 25 So that's not on sale yet. But you do have some things on sale right now. Like, uh, Fatter Cat is only... I know, I want it so bad. $17 right now. Yeah, Fatter Cat's on sale, just so you know. The Goku mount is on sale. The Nimbus? Yeah, fully. I'm not a big fan of that one. I think it's kind of... Eh. I do really like Fatter Cat, mainly because I'm a fucking Lala. The play dead emote is five dollars. Oh. You could be a face down la la with your butt in the air mm. and get banned. Yeah, right. I, I don't know if like I told John before, I like we could get him to skip if it'd get him to be more interested. I just don't know if he wants main story skip or just the boost. I mean, if he does main story skip, he's going to have to fucking level anyways, you know? Yep. 
but he could level through dungeon spam and shit like that because the dungeons will be unlocked. And I think Nick trying to play as a tank isn't going to help him with any enjoyment shit. Like, I don't know. Everybody seems to be playing a tank class, and I'm just like, well, so it's fun, but... Yeah, so I think I know why that's happening, and I think the the reason why a lot of people are playing tank classes is because they see that Marauder turns into Warrior, and they see big, giant, two-handed axe, and they think warrior class so they immediately think that they're going to be like the big fucking two-handed dual wielding motherfuckers going around and just dpsing their asses off i'm just saying between nick and john because john's paladin right now john is a paladin yes but he he prefers to tank so that's that's different and me you know i like tanking anyways but at the same time i want to learn healing so if he wants to stay tank i'm fine with fucking learning how to play white mage but yeah, hang you just on. gotta, L- you gotta to these, level up a bit more so more duty can happen. Well, my white mage is only level one, so yeah. I haven't even started it yet because I've been saving it for when Brooke starts leveling. But she's been like super busy with a lot, a lot, a lot of big stuff is falling into her lap at work. And this is literally shit that she has fucking trained and prepared for for the past fucking like 10 years. So I'm not even trying to stress about, you know, are you going to play with me or not? Like, if she's got time, she's got time. But she's, like, super fucking busy with everything at work. And literally, this is, like, shit that could literally change our lives. Not to mention, we also got the wedding in fucking two weeks. Or one week now, actually. Fuck. Shit's Uh, creeping up on us. Are you coming out, by the way? I don't think I'm going to make it. I didn't have your address. September 11th, right? It is September 11th. Oh, you got two weeks. Yeah. I know Graham's coming up from Ohio. Yeah, I got quite a distance to try and cover. I could look up, see what plane tickets are, but I can't promise shit. I mean, if you do, you do. If you don't, there's no biggie. Well, I figured I'd ask, because, I mean, it's not like I really have a lot of friends to come out. She's bringing... Fucking her family, her friends, her extended family. Like, her mom's invited fucking literally everyone. And me, I just have a couple of my family members. And Graham and Logan. Jake. My cousin. I think total I have maybe like 15 people that I actually really care about being there. Maybe not even 15. Maybe it's like 10. Yeah, it'd be like a 12-hour drive for me if I left from here. Oh. Well, I mean, it, like I said, if you if you can, that'd be cool. But if not, it's whatever. It's going from 11 to 11 that day, so. Uh, so the difficulty modes are kind of funny. Difficulty, casual. For those looking for a more relaxed experience like standard, but with the following changes. Enemies have less health and deal less damage. Reviving a teammate is quicker, and you do as many times as needed. Synthetic teammates are more effective. Difficulty standard provides a good challenge for those familiar with shooters. Enemies are highlighted when aiming down sights. This can be changed in the difficulty gameplay settings or menu. There's plenty of time to revive down teammates, and each player can be revived up to four times. Synthetic teammates are effective enough to complete missions. Difficulty intense. The true aliens experience. The way it is meant to be played. Seasoned survival shooters shooter players should find a challenge here like standard with the following changes enemies are not highlighted when aiming down sights this cannot be changed in settings your guns deal light damage to teammates enemy enemy melee grapples are more difficult to escape xenomorph acid is deadlier enemies deal more damage and have more health there's less time to revive down teammates and each player can only be revived three times max ammo is reduced Synthetic teammates are not recommended. Then there's extreme mode. Extreme mode says, I can't lie to you about your chances, but you have my sympathies. Unlocks after you completing the full campaign. Like intense with the following changes. Your guns deal moderate damage to teammates. Acid and enemies deal severe damage. Enemies have even more health. You'll find fewer aid kits. Max ammo is further reduced. There's even less time to revive down teammates, and it takes longer to revive them, and each player can only be revived twice. 
Synthetic teammates not recommended. And then there's the insane difficulty. And it says, that's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. Unlocks after completing the full campaign, like Extreme, with the following changes. Your guns deal full damage to all teammates. Enemies deal more damage and even have more health. Enemy grapple attacks can kill instantly, and some foes have instantly lethal grapples. You have only seconds to save a downed teammate, and each can only be revived once. We should get the fucking people together and get get on, on some insane difficulty. I kind of want to do yeah. intense because it says the true aliens experience the way it was meant to be played. Yeah, intense. We got to go camping. Yeah, see? See? That's how we get Blaster and Nick to get this fucking game. We just mentioned tents. So I, yeah. I already know I'm not going to have a problem getting Brian to play it because he's already wanted to play it. I think while I play by myself, I'll just end up doing standard. Fire team, this is I remember oh, there's match when I was younger, there was a, I forget what the game was, I think it might have been Wolfenstein or something, but one of the modes, I ended up playing it on hard or something, because the mode before it was, can I play daddy? Oh, was that, uh, was that Wolfenstein you said? It might have been, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'd feel insulted if I play on this mode. Yeah, so I know I know there's one I know Wolfenstein has like uh like Big Baby or something like that. I wanna say let me see. I, game difficulty can I play Daddy? Daddy, can I play Daddy? Can I play Daddy? Yeah, I just remember that. It is being Wolfenstein. One of the modes. It yep. is Wolfenstein. Daddy. Daddy. That would have been oh, back please, in daddy, the, daddy, the please, school days. Daddy, please, daddy, can I play daddy? Daddy. Oh, fuck. Okay. Daddy. Daddy, would you like to play now? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Well, I was right about Burning Crusade that Nick wouldn't reach top level without help. Huh. What do you mean? He didn't get there? Or did no, he get he help? Did. No, he never did. Nobody was online to uh, bring him through stuff. I mean, I never, I never made it either. I know. I mean, I'm like three levels away, but I easily could have because... Ain't no goddamn difference to me doing it. I got a deck plan. No. Backup generator is beyond Hanukkah's ping. We can kick I don't it know, it was only ten levels. Oh, I can vault stuff. And I can take cover behind things. Okay. Our man should sure. be in the junction ahead. That's kinda like Gears of War ish. It is, Hanukkah, kind of, this yeah. Is the colonial Marines. You There's hearing our door. me? Through the door. I can't remove a ping. I can't type either. Is there voice in this game? Audio, character volume, accessibility. Acid damage. Not encouraging. Continue your sweep. There is no fucking uh, in-game voice or typing probably done to keep people from trolling or like harassing others but at the same time that's still kind of still kind of right fucky here. high speed incoming get hot don't lock up what the hell I'm trying to get up to them way more than i expected Oh wow. Ambushed rear. I've heard the AI is kinda retarded. Uh but they so the fodder easily. AR the fodder AI seems to be, yes. Yeah, they shoot well, but they're just kinda meh. That's why it's better off with people, so you know. 
No, so the fodder AI, like I just said, it looks like they, um... Like a bunch of these little bastards just started crawling over the wall and just kind of like, I wonder if I can take cover and... I'm talking uh, about your allies that you're going to have helping you. Oh, I... Apparently it does matchmaking. Oh, you're doing matchmaking. Okay. Yeah, I didn't... Well, I mean, I don't know how to do any other way. Guess Honaker went this way. Yeah, because you could have bots run as your team. Yeah, because it just said that I can do synthetics, but I didn't see an option to do so. Oh, maybe synthetics are just what bots are. You can't actually be a synthetic. No, synthetics are, yeah, synthetics are literally uh, the androids in the fucking series. Yep. I thought you could play as one of the androids. That's what. Yeah, no. It's so it's kind of so like the the starting. I mean, I'm I got it up on stream if you want to check it out. Uh, it basically looks like like Destiny. Um, there is opening. There's like an opening uh area that you can go on to. And like as soon as you join the game, you're basically on like a, a starship. Oh shit. And when they die, they leave acid, definitely. Oh my god, yeah, uh, so, yeah, there's swarms. pretty cool Lots of like I literally don't even have to aim it just auto tracks which I mean that's totally a thing there's spitters there's little spitters little puppy dogs oh shit They just want cuddles. They want pets and cuddles and all that. And they're coming out of the fucking ceiling. So like I did see that online that uh transfer rolling. Stay the back Hold the room. I did see that um that like they'll like hardcore make use of the surroundings and shit. And uh, they'll like run across the ceilings and like go into like fucking uh, vents and shit like that to get around the entire fucking area. And yeah, they're definitely doing that right now. That's a full on fucking xenomorph. That was a big one. Oh shit, no ammo. It says I can heal people, but I have no idea how. I always wanted a fucking plasma rifle. Or like an airsoft gun that looked like a plasma rifle or something. I always thought they looked fucking cool. Door, no. Are you supposed to just like chill here until it ends, or I don't know, there's a marker over there. Aliens still fucking creep the shit out of me. 
It's not as bad as Dead Space, though, because fucking Dead Space, that scares the ever-loving piss out of me still. The first Dead Space, I can't fucking do it. Never played it. it it's fucking terrifying. Yeah, I am nowhere near the gamer that you, Logan, Nick, and everybody are. I'm just kind of a filthy casual. Filthy fucking casual. I'd say I'm a Whoa! filthy casual, but I can buckle down and play the shit out of stuff, too. That thing just scared the fuck out of me, dude. It just ran around the corner. Oh, shit. It ran around the corner and, like, fell at me. I wish I could, like... Oh, I can. Okay. I can, like, take cover behind walls and shit. This dude's name is Jufro Josh, I just fucking realized it. Never run into an acid spitting morph. Where did these come from? Yeah, so it looks like the uh It looks like the fucking um the, data, you can the AI the for some Dynamo of these mods. I mean, it could ahead. also be the difficulty that I'm on, and it is the very first fucking, the like the tutorial mission. But there was a fucking enemy that just kind of sat behind a fucking wall and just like s stood there while we killed it. Hey, check this. Get eyes on this. Spinning this up is gonna make noise, vibration, heat, whatever bugs key off, they'll catch it. Thing's been idle a long while. It's gonna take time to movement. Grabbing ammo. Should they coming up behind me? Now I think they are. Yep. What is that? Oh shit. Dynamo just finished injecting lubricant. Oh, it's on me. It's on me. It's on me. Health is below 50%. Where's my health? Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he's pissed. Motherfucker! I was trying to heal and it wouldn't let me fucking heal him. There's no way to type either. Five is activate emotes. 
How do I not have any? What? You see this? Got another swarm brewing. Break out the heavy shit. This is gonna get spicy. Sentry gun out. Oh, shit. On this. Dude, they can go around the fucking the fucking air vents and pop out next to us and shit. That's fucked. We were just running away and all of a sudden I fucking got hit from behind. This motherfucker ran up on me. Probably should have looked at the abilities of what each one of these does. Oh shit. or a puddle of chunky marinara. I got a prowler running. Whew. Thank you. Oh, they're coming from behind now. They're coming right for us. They're coming right for us. 
I think that increases our damage. Hey, dare you to spit over the side? Got some big internal leaks. Never a good sign in space. Dog ones. Oof. Motherfucker, I keep like melee is a thing, but it doesn't seem to do anything. We don't find this guy alive. Yeah, think about it this way. If you melee in a xenomorph. Do you really think you're going to do much? Okay, that didn't even happen to me and it scared the shit out of me. There's a lot of jump scary shit in this game. How do I do the incendiary rounds? Bitch. Oh, there we go. Oh, and it triggered a reload. Incoming on the left. Xenomorph Prowler. Maybe I should have took a fucking shotgun instead of this goddamn smart rifle. side I can refill my ammo supply while I am uh, reloading. Okay. I know you like the movie. This, uh, this Aliens, uh, game, you know what it makes me want to fucking play? This same game, but Starship Troopers. I would play like I foresee if this is gonna be like work workshop uh, ability or whatever
if this is going to be like workshop enabled, I would see, um, enjoy the ride Marines next stop Hunnaker or his corpse, whatever. I could see, uh, this game being workshopped into, uh, like starship troopers. I think that would be cool. Damn, I had 178 kills. Hanukkah is somewhere up on Katanga's mainframe decks. Looks like he's been searching for a safe place to hide from all the Xenos aboard. Our mission hasn't changed. Find him, get him out alive. I would love to change classes, but I'm pretty sure that's not a possibility. I should go make a character on Final Fantasy named Fraz Sam or Fraz Sam Sambi or whatever. Fraz Siabi. Yeah, Fraz Siabi or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Door, let's go. Make a character on WoW Back named door. that. Just watch how many people get butt hurt at you. Yep. My whole thing is, is I find it fucking stupid that they're doing, uh, that they're renaming McCree. Like, it just really goes to show you that, that they didn't learn a goddamn thing. Because instead of, like, doing anything about it, their whole Monica, thing is, we... oh, if we rename a character, it's going to change yeah. everything. It's, yeah, it's not. Clear. Listen, to it's get not. to me, you'll have to go through the network security room. Now that's putting band-aids on a problem. It's not even putting band-aids on a problem, man. I wish I could aim over my and, left shoulder. Well, it's kind of funny to me because... I didn't even know some dude had some association with a character and... Yeah, that's... I, I agree with that. Rollability E. Like, I understand if it was well advertised and shit, but just Swap removing names and changing stuff oh, is... so much better. It doesn't fix anything. It's like... They yeah, did it don't bad, fix... so... It doesn't fix anything. If anything, it, it's punishing the players because, like... Now they have to wait for the second game if anyone was actually interested in waiting for the game, you know? Like, I mean, obviously people are waiting for it or interested in it, but you get what I'm saying. I just think it's, it's all just the fucking stupid shit of, like, trying to make it seem like they're doing something, but they're not actually doing anything at all. Woo! Yeah, asshole, it's us exploding these motherfucking on your face. This dude just said, did you hear explosions just now? Yeah, we're exploding up all up on your face, bitch. Got him. We go through here. Got to be a hidden thing somewhere around here. Grab that was stupid. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I can see you on my monitors now. Wait. Hardened electroshock sentry gun. Let us handle it. 
Was it ever established in the Alien franchise that they actually call them or are known as Xenomorphs? I don't know, but a Xenomorph is just a generalization. Got it, a Xenophobe. I think Xenos just means non-human. Oh my god, can you get off me please? Thank you. Oh, there's the spitter. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Quick! Get off my dick! It could be the difficulty, but I think this game is a little easy. It is fun. It is fun. There is a little bit of jump scares in it. Well, Left to Dead was pretty easy overall. Uh, I are. It. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Me and uh, Logan actually just got done playing it, and they've changed quite a bit on it, and it's uh, it's definitely... Sorry. I don't know if it's just have because we haven't dead played too, it. But I haven't played Left 4 Dead 2. Le that's what we get. That's what we played. Left 4 Dead 2 basically... Um, after all the fucking patches that they did, they kind of combined the two games, actually. Because there's a lot of uh, missions with Left 4 Dead 1 cast. And then there's, like, you can choose stages from the first game and the second game and kind of shit. It's pretty cool. Well, I got Left 4 Dead 2 completely free, so that's the only reason I have it. As I say, so Aliens just released, right? Like, it just released on fucking Tuesday. And, uh... These motherfuckers at Valve literally put fucking aliens. So they put aliens out for sale. And now that aliens out for sale, fucking Left 4 Dead is a dollar on sale as of today. This makes me want to play... Um, this makes me want to play the original Aliens vs. Predator. Like, run around this bitch. Uh, like, run around this bitch as a fucking alien. Or as fucking Predator. Or as an alien. Yeah, running along the ceilings and shit. I like games that do that shit. Like, put you in, in the enemy mode. Actually, that would be a fucking cool game mode. Somebody bagged a few bucks here. They've been trying to get at me. Incoming. They rigged the pipes. Got a mechanical failure in the door. Ambush, in the rear. Ooh, that sucks. What are the uh that's that's just beats everything. Well, they still died to bullets, Doc. 
What are the fucking, uh, what are the enemies in, in StarCraft, the Banelings, the ones that go, run towards you and then blow up? Out of weapon on I got ammo on that. Working Joes. Ain't those Seeks and robots? Yeah, well, Seeks and used to own Katanka. In front! And behind! I gotta turn up my sensitivity so, uh, when ADS the walls between goes. You and me are one twenty below zero, so uh, you'll have to cut the refrigerant to reach me. I um Broke the valve. Tossed the wheel in a side room. Sorry. Ah, fucker! You shot me! Kind of sucks because uh, I can't carry shit for fucking ammo for this goddamn gun. Out of my way. Oh shit. Oh fuck, there's a warrior. Oh, fucking shit. That motherfucker just straight up, like, tucked and rolled into one of the fucking vents. There he is. I like how we all just kind of went the same fucking direction. Fuck!
Oh, so that kills fodder and stuns anything more. That's interesting. Oh my god, there's so fucking many of them. Fuck, dude, they're fast Again, as fuck. It, it's just, there's one Xeno that... I keep seeing it. I think. Maybe, maybe I'm just... I don't know. I haven't slept. I rewired the locks to the server core. The locks disengaged. Great. You're good to go for... Oh, you're about to get eaten! Okay, maybe the AI in this game ain't that bad after all. That one was just using active cover. Oh shit. Oh wow. Okay. Fucking straight up took me down. This is right above us.
anyone need gear? Anti-personnel mines? on this lines out uh. line is ready to go lines out let's make an alamo are dropping. I hope you can. Good luck. They're coming. That's not fucking funny. No, that one just took over all of, took out like half our fucking minds. That one's made of fucking platinum. I'm down. Fucking seriously? Ooh. 
over. Oh, God. Finally. My board's clear. Collect our man. Grabbing ammo. Uh. So, uh, you have a ship or something? I mean, I, I don't have a spacesuit. Hidden cash found. I don't remember doing that. Maybe they found it. Well, we found Honecker. Now we've got to get him safely back to the Endeavor. Lieutenant Ko will bring our dropship into one of the refinery hangars. Escort Honecker down to us for pickup. His safety's on you. Is this only teams of three? Bottom is filled with water. Not a good sign. Here they come. Glad you gave me that pistol. Oh, dude, there's going to be fishy ones. Nifty. I went the fucking the right way. I didn't even know it. Listen. How the fuck are they going to open the door and show the aliens coming through the door, but then when I try to go through the door, that Water bitch is sealed. Toxic, but 
I wouldn't soak in it. This shit is dark as fuck. They're in the ducts. You fucking think? Tell me twice, get the fuck up out. It's gotta be secret around here somewhere. Kids here. Imagine up. Eight kids here. The army. That woke some friends. <coughs> Side. 
locked down. Esther? A 16 million digit cipher. Perhaps check the logs of the maintenance synthetics? Accessing. Grabbing it. I have the code for you. Grabbing ammo. Aid kit over here. Don't worry, it's just a flex wound. Coming right for us! Oh shit. That's a huge bitch. Party, this is your pickup. Beginning dropship approach to the refinery. <laughs> no response from Hangar Delta's ALS. Diverting to Epsilon. I'll get those bastards to this. Joe's though, S. I 
Through the door. Get eyes on this. You see this? Get eyes on this. Party, we are down in Hangar Epsilon, standing by for pickup. The Beltway, home stretch, fire team. Oh. So, we're safe. And hey, because he said this. we're safe, now we're gonna be fucked. This just looks great. Listen, that thought, Doc. See this? Check this out. Hey, check this. Check this out. Is that all of them? Evidently not. Wayland Yutani synths brought local animals up to uh, replenish the hive, then eggs back down for experiments. They bred Xenos. Come and hear us. Goddamn thing came out of fucking nowhere. Rearming. Yo, gear over here. Look at this. Hey, check this. Get eyes. Who wants on this. the gear? Get it done. Yo, gear over here. Start depressurization when you are ready. Nice. 
that, every Xeno in the vents will pour out. Grab Doc, you boarding? No. No, I want to help. Out here. Alright, here we go. It's a big room. This'll take time. Right on time. Here come the bots. Let's get some. Keep them off us, or fly yourself home. Get to the air boss's console and clear for final depressurization.
Well, fuck. I hope you did not ingest that. It is an internal lubricant used by synthetics like myself. Artificial people, if you prefer. Or simply androids. We are designed to mimic human form and behavior, and can perform many tasks, often ones that humans find upsetting, unethical, or physically uncomfortable. In the previous century, there were cases where synthetics became... unstable. The initial solution was to make our minds less complex. Since the 2160s, synthetics are constrained by hard-coded laws governing acceptable behavior towards humans. The colonial marines employ synthetics in various roles. The integer series are low sapient combat models. Perhaps you've deployed with our platoons Alpha and Beta? high-functioning bishops and esters, operate support equipment, analyze scientific anomalies, and provide medical care. All right. Based on the missions you complete, you get assigned requisition credits. You come to me, ask for the equipment, and if you got the credits, I fabricate it for you. You can requisition new weapons, or attachment for weapons, or consumables. Special ammunition, sentry guns, mines, whatever. I let Marines pick their own gear. You deploy with the wrong shit, you're the one who bites it, not me. Talk to your fire team. Work out who's doing what. You're in the field, boot. When you get back to port, hit the commissary or exchange. <laughs> That's my official answer. Between you, me, and the bulkhead, I also got a special inventory. Stuff to personalize your gear. I don't take requisition credits for that. We got an unofficial system. Anybody ask, just say you tactically acquired it. Anything not on the racks, I can pull out of cargo four.
Esther says my... Is it legal? I mean, if it's illegal, I can get no problem. But if it's legal, I'll need you to file requisition form 1348 or 1348 Mike. You can grab those off ship net. Look, tell Herrera it takes a... I read you. Let me check what I've got in the back channel.
That is a Siegs and Maintenance Jack, a standard accessory included with each sale of Working Joe Synthetics. The Working Joe was a class of low sapient android popular last century. They were, if you will pardon my saying, an unsophisticated design. Synthetics from Weyland Yutani and Hyperdyne systems served the high end market. Siegs and Company had neither the technical nor industrial expertise to compete. Working Joes were assembled from inexpensive commercial electronics. In a time when disguised synthetics were misused to monitor or discipline human employees, Siegson marketed with the slogan, You always know a working Joe. Their crude appearance was a selling point among those fearful of synthetic infiltration. I was asked to summarize Dr. Honecker's debriefing for you. He was assigned to Palace Station, a Wayland yutani research facility on the surface of LV-895. The Palace Station team developed weapons from Xenomorph XX-121. In particular, they explored the effects of a mutagenic agent. Xenomorphs and other test subjects were loosed by a containment breach. The majority of the staff perished. Clear. Small amounts were delivered by the company. The science team was not told its origin. They referred to it as pathogen. As biogenetics is not Dr. Honecker's specialty, he is unable to provide details. Dr. Honecker and some of his colleagues fled Pala Station in a shuttle. It launched on a pre-programmed course to Katanga. Unfortunately, two creatures stowed aboard. They killed one, and you met the other. The mutated xenomorph he called Monica. The doctor was the only survivor. You are familiar with the xenomorph reproductive process? It was gestated within a woman named Monica. Dr. Honecker seems unwilling to discuss it further. There was discord between the science team and Wayland yutanis manager, Administrator Bellows. In particular, Mr. Bellows ordered the use of human convicts to breed xenomorphs. Ah, Dr. Damn. Honecker doubtless hoped we had taken his employers into custody to face charges.
Should you wish to review, I will keep the information on file for you. There's one more. You scan the manifest near the Wayland ship? May I? It details a series of two-way flights. On trips from LV-895 to Katonga, creatures from the moon were the cargo. On returns, the items were cryogenic suspension pod, loaded. Live Ovomorph Sample, 4. Mm. It is curious these pods are of uniform manufacture, not a field modification or expedient improvisation. They appear to be the result of an extended design process by experts in hypersleep technology. And they were designed for one specific cargo, Xenomorph eggs. These devices were mass-produced, not for palestation but for general use. Wayland Dutani might have many eggs in transit or storage across the frontier. <clears throat> yeah, I wish I could give you some extra chaining. I really do, but I don't want to. That doesn't seem very nice. How many combat drops have you...
I'm Ibrahim Savani, Colonial Marines Intelligence, Surveillance, and Recon Service. Yes, most Marines call us Kamisars. No, we're not as bad as you've heard. Katanga has over 80 years of history, but the interesting bit is from 25 years ago. I'm Ibrahim Savani. Its owner, Sikhs and Company, reported the refinery was destroyed. Yet, here it floats. We compile information on threats to the United Americas and provide it to the Corps to act on. Our sources range from battlefield recon to cyber warfare. Some believe we have spies everywhere, but that's simply not true. If everyone worked for us, who would we spy on? <laughs> that, that, that was a joke. <laughs> we, we joke sometimes. In the previous century, they were a moderately large interstellar corporation. They even had aspirations of competing with Wayland Yutani. Sikson invested heavily in space facilities. In 2174, they purchased Katanga from its previous owner. The refinery was refit and towed to the mid rim. Katanga was originally constructed 82 years ago by Kinshasa Interpiece Diatat Milier, the state mining enterprise of the DR Congo. In 2170, Kinetat fell under sanction by the United Americas Assembly. They had sold resources to the revolutionary forces during the Hyades revolts. To survive the financial losses, they auctioned off their space assets. That's when Sigson purchased Katanga. Unclear, the ICC logged that Sigson scuttled it due to irreparable damage. There are no details on the cause or scope of that damage. You'd expect insurers to demand that. I'm following up with Central. If we learn something you need to know, you'll be informed. Report to your platoon leader. Everyone here got something to come back for. Make sure you... <laughs> 